Okay, next we have the illustrious, the industrious, Mr. Mark Culp from Lakeport, California. We all give Mark a hard time. He's, he is one of the members of the, the Echo Carving team as well and always a strong contender everywhere he goes. Yeah, Mark comes from a long family of chains. Mark's been decarving for, what, 25 years, I think? Yeah, I believe 25 years. Mark is the only chainsaw carver I know that has never filled out a job application. His dad, uh, Don Culp, is still a chainsaw sculptor and probably the oldest known living chainsaw sculptor. Some guys carve differently. Some guys will start at the top and work their way down. I like to work the whole sculpture all the way down. Um, big saws are going to be kind of the the key factor because of the size of the wood. And I've seen where it looks like a perfect piece of wood and then have a big void. And if that void comes out in a place where you need to put something very important, you can't make that design change. It can, it can, it can make your day miserable. It can change your whole, it can change your whole mood. You know, when you eat and breathe this stuff, it's a, it's a lot different. We talked about several of these carvers that are doing it part-time. Mark is full-time to the max. Travels all across the country. Actually, Mark is one of the carvers that actually uh, gave me that boost I needed to get in that competitive edge. So I owe a lot of my uh, of what I have today to Mark Cole. He's a friend. Uh, he will definitely help you out if you need anything from him. And, and as are most of these, most of these uh, chainsaw carvers, it's a big family. You know, it's... It, they're competitors, but they're your family in the same right. They'll help you out, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, they are your competitor, but you go home and, and they're your buddy too. Mr. Mark Cole, Clear the Lake, California. Uh, how do you feel about your piece, man? I feel good. We got a lot done. It's looking pretty good. It's gonna work out, I think, just fine. I'm gonna name it the Spirit of America. It's a wildlife, of course, but um, each, each one represents something about the people of America, the freedom, the bravery, and then, of course, the wolf is always the brotherhood. And on this other side, I've got Native American here with the buffalo uh, headdress. And on Mark's piece here, if we start at the top and work our way down, it's another one of these pieces, like I said, we, we said with Luke Harris. It's those type of pieces you walk up and you don't know where to start. You don't know where the front is, you don't know where the back is, and it constantly draws you around the other side. It's going to score very well in that 360 degrees. Another thing about Mark's piece here, it's going to auction off very high. Very popular piece out here with the people today. I, I agree with that 100%. If I had to support my my, my family on, on what I could make by selling a piece out here, I'd take Mark's piece. This piece will sell very well in the auction, as does all of Mark's work. Well, we had a great time. This is uh, this is uh, kind of like a little I don't know family reunion type thing with the Carvers, and just uh, we encourage each other. Um, it's great to have people around you. The energy out there is incredible. You can't just no, There's nothing else to describe it other than just incredible energy as far as creativity and, and uh, camaraderie. It's a great event for us all. We know this is just the beginning of something greater and bigger. We're looking forward for it. Number seven, number seven. Mark Culp is our artist on this. This is our third place winner. He is from California. He's been doing this for 24 years. Ancient Spirits of America is our theme on this one. And Mark's work is just one of these wonderful, wonderful pieces. Folks, look at all the detail in this. The whole weekend's like this big hyper thing. And then but even when you win that award, even if you win first place, it's like, you know, it's like you can't climb Mount Everest now. The only way to go is down. You know, it, that's how life is, you know. You have your high points of life, and then you have your points where you're, you're headed back home. 